hey folks this side issue and uh, last time we have discussed about sending data from parent flex card to child flex card where our data source is an integration processor and today we will gonna discuss about sending data from child flex card to omni script so we are having data in our child flex card and that we will send it to our omni script here we will gonna do two things first one we will do the configuration changes in our data table and second we will add that event listeners if you select any row in of your data table we have to trigger an event so let's start very quickly this is our data table and here you can see like we are not able to select any row right now so to select this row what we have to do go to your child component child component in the sense you have to go to your child flex card and here we have properties section so you have to go to your properties and you have to enable this checkbox user selectable row in our last video you have seen we are not able to see the pagination thing so if to enable this pagination as well we have to limit the size like what page size you want to add how many records at a time you wanted to see so accordingly you will see the data here if i update it with five our list view will be changed so like like you can see one two three four five five records you are able to see right now so let us update it back to a 10 records and uh, checkbox is coming now and once you select this row and what action like you want to pass this data this row related data you want to pass it to your omni script so what you have to do for that go to your setup for child component and uh, there we have an event listener section click on add new button and here in event type you have to select custom event and you have to name that event Select row. Event name should be in small letters. After that, click in this accordion of action. And in action type, we have to select update on my script. Why so? Because the data what we have selected, we are going to pass that to our Omni script and we are updating the data, Omni JSON data. So for that, we have to use update Omni script. For parent node, um we can give it anything selected product this would be our parent node and input parameter you can add key values so at first select row this will have data If, um, so there is a um, there is a structure to write this. Uh, let me show you here. So we have this structure action dot result dot x. X would be the field name which you want to populate from the data table. Okay. So here we can write action dot result dot we can add more input variables so for an example we can add id from our data data table we can pass that data so as per the naming convention action dot result dot id i should be in small letters because we the data mapped with uh, the exact API name of is small i d. Then we can add other names as let us add rating copy. We have to copy the same, paste it below, and here we can add rating. So let's see the data is getting passed out. 
okay we have to save this then we have to activate this check your parent flex card is activated or not let me refresh so our parent flex card is right now activated so let's see in our omni script what data we are getting so Omni script. This was our Omni script product categories. Okay, so this is our Omni script for products, and we have a step element here. And there we have added our parent flex card, which we have created in our previous video. Now, if you click on preview, add some context ID, then our data table got loaded. If I select any row, for an example, I selected second row, you can see we have made the parent node as selected product which is coming and if I select it here you can see the ID and rating so our ID is 2 rating is 3.28 which we are getting so accordingly you can add more attributes key and value pair and uh, you can get your data as per your requirement here you have seen that it's coming as true or false like here it will come as boolean variable so what we did here was earlier I'll do configuration. So this variable, what it will do, it will get the value of whether the particular element got selected or not. Like like the way we have in our LWC, if we add one in a checkbox input variable and uh, whether that particular row got selected or not, accordingly, we are uh, storing true and false value there. So you are having this value selected row as true or false others you have to add the naming convention action dot result and after that you can add the column name accordingly so this is how it is and i will attach this url so you, that will help you while doing while implementing this hope this has helped you all the best and one more thing like if you have selected another row so at a time you can select only one row so which will so your data will get updated with the latest one so we having this in your mind you have to do the configuration okay team have a great day